All right, so now uh, we are going to talk about quadratic functions, but now when we do them, it's, there's another piece involved with the function. Because yesterday, we, or the other lesson, we learned about how we have x squared and then a constant on the back. So there is only a binomial, only two terms. Now our quadratic function has three terms in it. It has a, it has a squared piece, it has x to the first power, and then a constant on the back. So it changes where the vertex is going to move. Uh, and that's one of the things we're going to find today. We're going to find the vertex, and we're also going to find the axis of symmetry. Now, yesterday, or the other lesson we learned about, the axis of symmetry cuts the par parabola, or my quadratic function, in half, and both sides are exactly the same. It's a mirror. And the vertex is always right on top of the axis of symmetry. So the idea is, we first find the axis of symmetry, and once we find that, we know the x-coordinate of the vertex. Then we plug in x to find out what y equals, and then we'll know exactly where the vertex is. So find the axis of symmetry first, then the vertex. All right, and before we do that, we have to know uh, there's a formula for the axis of symmetry, but in order to use the axis of symmetry formula, we have to know what a, b, and c are. Now, just in case you're wondering, a is always the number in front of x squared, b is always the number in front of x, and c is the constant or the number in the back. So, when we have these numbers, we have to find out what a, b, and c are. Now, there's nothing in front of x squared, but there is an invisible 1. So that means a equals 1. And then b is always the number in front of x, or the coefficient in front of x, so it's negative 2. And c is the constant, which is negative 5. Now, like I said, to find the axis of symmetry, there's a formula for it. And I'll go ahead and write that on the screen. The axis of symmetry formula is x equals negative b over 2a. So x equals negative b over 2a. So what we're finding is the equation of a line that goes through a certain point in my graph, and that is where the mirror or my line of symmetry will be for my parabola. So all I do is plug in the letters, because I just found a, b, and c, into the formula. So let's go ahead and plug in b. b is negative 2. Notice how I wrote negative, negative 2, because the formula already has a negative in it, but b is already negative. So it's going to be negative, negative 2. Of course, we're going to change it to positive, but we'll do the bottom part. So it's negative, negative 2 over 2 times 1, because a is 1. And as I mentioned before, two negatives that close together become a positive, and then I write x equals 2 over 2. And 2 over 2, of course, reduces down to 1. So my axis of symmetry is at x equals 1. Now that I found my axis of symmetry, we can now find the y part of my vertex. Because like I said, the vertex is always right on top of the axis of symmetry. So if we find the axis of symmetry, we can now find the rest of the vertex. So I'm going to plug in 1 into my original function. So y equals 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 5. Order of operations tells me to do exponents first. So 1 squared is 1. And then multiplication, which is negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And so I have 1 minus 2 minus 5. And then we, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 5 reduces down to negative 6. So the x part of my vertex is 1. The y part of my vertex is negative 6. So my answer is 1 comma negative 6. So now that I have both of those pieces of information, I can actually make a pretty rough sketch of my parabola. So let's go ahead and take a look at that parabola. Whoop, too far. All right. So we just found out that my axis of symmetry equals 1. All right. We also found out that my vertex is at 1 comma negative 6. We also know that the value of a for my original equation is 1. So we, I tell you what a equals because we can use that to find if my graph is either going to be facing upward or downward. Also, if the graph is going to be narrow or wider. So if a equals 1, that means my graph is going to be pretty normal size. It's not going to be particularly wide or narrow. It's going to be normal size. And because a is positive 1, that means it's going to be happy or my parabola will be facing upwards. So, let's go ahead and draw my lines here. So there's my axis of symmetry going down 1, and I'm putting my vertex at 1, negative 6. 
So from here, I'm going to draw my lines, and that's a rough sketch of what my parabola looks like with my axis of symmetry and my vertex.